dog watching in springtime is rather like waiting for a bus. Initial sightings are rather sporadic. Then suddenly, they all turn up at once. This neatly trimmed physique belongs to Turbo, making him our second male to return from hibernation. And with fleeting glimpses of both Frumpy and Tilly over the first few nights, it won't be long before things start hotting up between Turbo and Piglet. For now, things seem relatively quiet. Then, suddenly, a double-decker hurtles in and smashes his opponent right out of sight. So much for buses. This is more like watching stock car racing. And what a whopper this boy is! He must be around the 1500 grams mark. Meat Boy was always a big guy, but his new, mean, testosterone-charged bulk has just earned him a new name. Rambo. As Rambo settles down to eat, something catches his attention and he disappears for a moment, probably just making sure that Turbo knows where the pits are. Rambo can certainly eat, but he's obviously living on his nerves as he anxiously turns to find he's been bitten on the bottom by an invisible hedgehog. Eventually, the incredible bulk I mean Rambo, heads off in the direction of the food hut. Surely he isn't going to try to get in there. My goodness, that's a bit of a squeeze. I hope he doesn't get stuck there like Winnie the Pooh. Nope, it looks like he has some sense as he sets off into the night, leaving Turbo to make his way to the bar for a well-earned pint before meandering around to the food hut. An hour or so later, Tiny Tilly arrives, trailing a long blade of grass behind her, like a small child with its blanket. And it looks rather like the boys have eaten all the food. Now, Tilly, it's time to put away the blanket. You're a big girl now, and that means the boys will be fighting over you this year, as you are now old enough to breed. But with a look of not likely... A defined Tilly sets off to the safety of the food hut. Really, Tilly?